Guild is a survival horror game that was released on 2019 on Google Stadia as an exclusive to the platform. After the fall of Google Stadia, it seemed that the game was lost. However, the game was freed from the shackles of Google Stadia and was released on consoles and PC. So is the game any good? Let's find out! Hi everyone, my name is Jeremy and this is my non-spoiler review for Guild for the PS5. The game was developed and published by Tequila Works. So what's the story of this game? Guild follows the story of Sally, a little girl living in Bethelwood. Her little cousin, Emily, recently went missing and she has been trying to find her. One day, Sally is chased by a group of bullies and in some mysterious way, she arrives at a twisted version of her town where her fierce and worst memories are presented in a wicked and very real way. The story of this game comes to life with some incredible voice acting. The story is told through voice acted, hand-drawn and in-game cutscenes and journals and photos that you find throughout the game. So let's talk about the visuals of this game. The game goes for what I would call a cartoonish look combined with some detailed and realistic environments. Details on the characters make them look as if they were made for a stop motion movie which makes them look unique and distinctive. Almost to the point to where I feel like these characters and the aesthetics of this game would pair well with movies like Nightmare Before Christmas, Coraline, among others. The game has some awesome lighting and environmental details that create an incredibly visual atmosphere and create some interesting environmental storytelling. Monster design is really creepy and the boss type monsters have some very visually interesting designs. Another thing that stands out in Guild is the setting. The game takes place in a school and in the town and it's filled with surreal nightmarish visuals that make it very interesting to look at. So let's talk about the music. All I'm gonna say about the music is that it creates some awesome horror atmosphere and accentuates the moments of tension and suspense and it really helps keep the player immersed in the moment to moment action. So let's talk about the gameplay. Guild is a horror story driven adventure game with sneaky mechanics and puzzle solving. You explore the environment to find key items to open new paths and continue the story. You are equipped with a flashlight, which is your main weapon. You have inhalers that help you heal and you can only have five with you at a time. And you use your flashlight to light dark areas and to attack monsters. You can recharge your flashlight by picking up batteries that you find scattered around. And you can also dock and sneak around objects so that enemies don't see you. Enemies have symbols on top of their heads that let you know if they are close to noticing you the white symbol, have heard you and are going to investigate the yellow symbol, or have found you and are going to attack you, the red symbol. If enemies get close, you can always push them away to create an opening to run away. You have a stamina bar, so you can't run indefinitely, and you can also get cans from vending machines to throw and distract enemies. As you explore, you will get other weapons that can help you not only fight monsters, but solve environmental obstacles. Puzzles in this game are simple to understand, and there aren't too many. Puzzles come in the form of formal puzzles that you need to solve or environmental hazards like fire or electricity on the floor that you need to evade or solve by finding the switch to deal with it. As you explore, you will find different collectibles like journals and photos that expand on the story among other things. You have a map that lets you know how many collectibles are in the area. Exploration is pretty linear, but once you complete the main things that you need in that area, you get a chance to explore optional rooms and sections within the area. There are also boss fights in the game that are fairly simple. Geld ran at 60 FPS with no frame rate drops whatsoever on the PS5, and it takes around 6 hours to complete. So let's talk about the pros and the cons of this game. The only complaint I have about this game is in regards to the boss fights. I found the boss monster designs to be super cool, super creepy and incredible, but the fights were way too lackluster, forgettable and simple. Usually the boss fights come down to getting the enemy 
to hit a certain thing three times or pressing certain switches a certain amount of times, which is pretty boring. I just wish that they were more mechanically interesting. In regards to the strong points of the game, I would have to point out the atmosphere paired up with the visuals, music, and setting. I can't stress enough how much I love the setting of this game. I feel like I haven't played enough horror games that take place in a combination of a town and a school and still manages to be visually interesting like this game manages to be. The surreal aspects of this game paired up with the cartoonish style really really make it interesting and keep you hooked until the very end so in conclusion guilt is a mechanically simple game with some awesome horror atmosphere the atmospheric music the mesh of cartoonish realistic visuals and the school town setting really sets this game apart from other horror games giving it a unique feel despite the game suffering from uninteresting boss fights it still manages to stand out above the rest and i am thankful that this game was not lost in the sinking ship of google stadia for this reason i highly recommend guilt for the ps5 so that's gonna be it for my non-spoiler review the link to the games page will be down in the description i hope you guys enjoy this and i will see you guys next time bye emily she's upstairs but uh, how do I get up there? Sweet. See me. Hi everyone, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with our content.